Hello everyone. So today in this video I'm just going to be painting a landscape of gouache in my sketchbook. So this video is basically a practice with me rather than a paint with me simply because I'm a beginner when it comes to gouache. Um, I dedicated this whole sketchbook to learning gouache um, and this is one of the paintings I want to documenting, docu, document me practicing basically so this also has been a bit of a long time since I have done a voiceover so you might have to bear with me there a little bit So right now I'm just working on the sky, just adding a bit of white to try and make clouds. So I can say, in all honesty, I'm really enjoying painting with gouache. I really like it. it it's fun to play around with. Although it's definitely not one of those really, uh, those really pretty paintings. You know when you go on YouTube and you write down gouache painting and you can see those really gorgeous realistic in-depth paintings that's definitely not this um, but I even though I'm struggling with it I'm enjoying using it and I think that's most important because my thoughts on comfort zones are there's nothing wrong with doing you know doing practice and pushing yourself out of your comfort zone to improve I've done that many a times but I think there's also got to be an element of fun in the medium. So, like, to explain it, for acry acrylic for me, when I, I've tried to push myself um, to use acrylic many times, and the problem is, not only do I struggle with it, I actually find it frustrating and it's not fun for me, which is why I, I kind of gave up on acrylic. I do still have a set that I use for clay projects or just maybe little abstract paintings that I do every so often because I don't want to waste them but I don't think it's ever going to be a medium that I will stick to. Whether it's this, the practicing, although I'm struggling, it's fun to practice and I think it, when you start a new medium you can tell whether it's going to be for you because I mean five years ago for when I first started watercolour painting the paintings did not turn out the way they do now um, although my family liked them and wanted to frame them <laughs> I did not but even though I was using cheap chalky paints I could tell I was going to enjoy it and it was going to be a medium I stick to so I think that's best way I can explain how I feel about gouache although my paintings aren't brilliant I'm enjoying using them. So I hope that makes sense. It makes sense in my head. So I'm just going ahead and painting the water in the river. I think one of the setbacks I'm struggling with gouache is the colours. I'm not that good at the colour mixing. And I'm also trying to wrap my head around the rules being backwards, I believe. If you lay down a lighter colour, I think the chances are it's dark when it dries it's darker than you think it's going to be whereas my knowledge on watercolour is if you let's just say I put down a really deep rich indigo when it's wet it could be you know close to midnight black um, and then when it dries it's a lot lighter whereas I think gouache is the other way around correct me if I'm wrong so yeah so I'm trying to get my head around that and also the brush strokes I'm not too good at knowing how much to load onto my paintbrush. You know, sometimes like if you see here, I'm mixing that yellow. To me, that's that's a thick layer on my brush. I don't know whether I need that much. I know you can mix it with water, which I do, but then sometimes it's a bit see-through, but I know you work in layers with gouache. It's all these little things that uh, I'm learning. So yeah, so there I'm just doing the trees with my very, very thick layer of gouache. 
And the other thing is, I don't even know if I'm using the right brush. I, I, I don't know if it matters. So if there's anybody who's good at gouache um, and, you know, has been using it for a long time and has some advice or just little tips, I'd have greatly appreciate it. Just comment me some. <laughs> Any will do. So I'm just adding some darker green just to get a bit of different hues in those trees there. So this sketchbook only actually has a few pages left and I think in a couple of weeks, maybe two, I don't know, maybe that's a bit optimistic, um, I should be finished and I'll be doing a tour of it so you can see all of my other paintings in this sketchbook as well. Because for the first the first few weeks of me doing gouache experiments, I had a very cheap set. I say set, it was one colour, it was white. And then I would take my watercolour and mix it with the white to make colours. Um, so the first few paintings in the sketchbook are just white with watercolour. <laughs> until I bought, um, got myself an actual set. Well, I say bought, it was gifted. It was gifted to me. So it's it's a simply set. It's just a it's just a, a small set that I wanted to test with. I didn't want to buy a big, huge, expensive set just in case it turns out I didn't like them or I just wasn't good at them. I'm just going around trying to add different greens into those trees in the background there. And I mixed, I think I mixed a lot of white with this green that I'm putting down here to make a lighter colour. I haven't been showing a lot of the mixing on my palette, so I'm sorry about that. Just added, adding a lighter yellow, but it's sort of a green. I'm just trying to add some shadows into the trees as well.
if you hear anything in the background it's just my it's my dog he's sleeping on my lap while i'm recording this so now i'm just going ahead and adding some darker browns to the mountains in the background also i'm, I'm adding green that was on my paintbrush i don't really know why i can't remember if that was an accident or if i tried to do it just to see what would happen So now I've just started adding some yellow. You notice there's a lot of green, but I didn't actually have any yellow tones in there, so I wanted to add some. And also I've turned my sketchbook round just so it's easier for me to, to get in there. And also, um, I forgot to mention, my palette is a container lid. I searched all my art drawers and in my desk and my cupboards and I know, I definitely know I owned a palette, a mixing palette somewhere. And I can't imagine that I got rid of it, but I couldn't find one. So container lids, they're easy to wipe, wipe off the paint, they're easy to wash and convenient. So... There's a little tip for you, container lids. Now I'm just going around adding a deeper, darker shadow under those trees. Looking at it now, I wish I had switched a paintbrush. I do have a smaller paintbrush that I think might have been better for this. I think this is when I called it finished. So just a little a little bit of a close up and that's it without its cello tape. Thank you all so much for watching my journey. I hope you enjoyed it and altogether I'm pretty proud of the painting. I think it could have turned a lot worse. <laughs> Bye.